Pretty Underdog Mafia. So, why did you decide to do the book after the movie? Well, I felt like the movies came out so long ago, mm. I felt like my message wasn't put out there correctly. I felt like the movie was directed toward violence. Mm. Yeah. So what was the message? Better positive version of myself. I wanted to reflect something different than that. I feel like I'm just much of a more positive person now than I was portrayed, honestly. Yeah, um, I believe we discussed a little bit about my grandmother being my positive influence, but I also felt like myself because I changed for the better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. That was perfect, girl. Can we go now? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. After the book signing was canceled, we went for dinner. However, from mm. another vantage point, her brother Brandon okay. was just getting out a couple of days ago. I don't know. He probably went back to the hood, bought a used phone, and immediately went to social media to follow you know, on social media? Get down this shit, what? That's how he probably found it. Yo, this is, she making money off my story? Yo. I'm tired of this. Stop beating around the bush and tell me what I need to know. I'm telling you everything. You're I not telling me anything. Like I said, we were on our way to the book signing and then I got a phone call. From who? I don't know. It was a private call. What were the contents of the conversation? With Chevelle and I or the Uber The driver? private <laughs> number. Uh, when I answered, they didn't say anything. Oh, so they just held the phone. They just held the phone. You just held the phone, just stood there and looked cute, huh? That's literally what happened. So I don't know why you're looking at me like that. Why even share this information in the story if it's not going to be useful to any of us right now? I'm telling you everything that happened. You wanted to know everything that happened, so I'm telling Seems you like every single thing that happened. It seems like you're leaving it out. That's what it seems like. Like I told you in the beginning, I have nothing to hide. My papers and my files say otherwise. Well, I can't help with that. I already told you everything that's going on. Like I said, I showed up to the hotel to give her an interview, waited in the lobby, she came down, our driver left because she took too long. We got in the Uber and then we did the interview. We were on our way to the book signing and that's when I got the phone call. Do you think it could have been anybody that's possibly been watching you, stalking you? I don't know. It was weird. 
any specific instructions you were given on this phone call? Oh, I'm so fucking sorry that this is a chore for you right now. <laughs> I just because you're feel just like withholding what you want to withhold right now. I'm trying to tell you everything that's happening, you're but you're not, not listening to me no. because you're trying so no. hard to be combative with me because really? you want to be the bad cop so bad. Wow. I'm telling you everything that happened. Really? I don't know what else you want me to say. There's so many holes in your information, so many holes in your story. This shit's just not adding up. signing was canceled. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. What happened? Did they sign? Okay. Uh, well, I can call us an Uber. How else are we going to get back to the hotel? Okay. Another Uber. Joy. All right, <laughs> fifteen minutes. Well, in the meantime, can I ask you some more interview questions? What the fuck else are we gonna do until the Uber comes? Just ask your question already. Hey. Um, so. <laughs> Caprice has sold 20,000 copies so far, and it hasn't even been 24 hours yet. How do you feel about that? I'm happy. Caprice was a great story. The movies did well, too. I just felt like I had to put the book out so we can move on to something next on the table. Cool, cool. So, would you say that Caprice is similar to you? And who is Keisha? Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to continue moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not gonna get my door? So, where did the story Caprice originate from? I don't know why, but that day went extremely dark and fast. You could see it in the sky. So, why did you decide to do the book after the movie? Well, I felt like the movies came out so long ago, mm. I felt like my message wasn't put out there correctly. I felt like the movie was directed toward violence. Hmm. Yeah. So what was the message? Better, positive version of myself. I wanted to reflect something different than that. I feel like I'm just much of a more positive person now than I was portrayed, honestly. Yeah, um, I believe we discussed a little bit about my grandmother being my positive influence, but I also felt like myself because I changed for the better. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. That was perfect, girl. Can we go now? Okay. Uh, yeah. 
You didn't tell her? I'm not surprised. Chevelle, what is he talking about? Brandon, what are we doing here? What are we doing? <laughs> Look, Brandon, she has nothing to do with this. Let her go. Oh my God. Let's get this together. See, she's gonna be the consequences of your fucking actions. I got out four fucking days ago. You were the first person on my list Look, to come I have visit. money, whatever you need, Brandon. Money? Money? Money. You don't get to talk to me like that. You don't get to do none of that. Shoot me off with some fucking money. Joe, what is what we gonna do? Shut the fuck up, Lauren. We're gonna get right back to that. Nothing, Lauren. Let her go. She has nothing to do with this. No, no, no. You're a reporter, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm gonna give you a story that you're not gonna forget. You see, Chevelle, put your hands behind your back. <sighs> She stole my story. Caprice? That's about me and my homie Carter. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait so this isn't actually about you? Fuck no. But she did contribute to all the people she helped put in jail. What's going on here? Nothing, okay? No, tell me. Tell me, because this might be your last fucking opportunity to talk. Oh, that hurts. I don't give a fuck. See, every great author, every great writer, even every director, they steal. So, um, that's what happened. He had barged in and started going at Chevelle. I didn't know what was going on. We were still in the middle of the interview. So, how did he get the jump on you? I'm honestly not sure. I'm assuming he probably just followed us. Uh, and then he just kept going on and on about his story and how she was lying, and that's where it led to that. Plot. Sounds like more of an infatuation with his sister than a revenge plot. <laughs> Your assumptions are killing me. Sweetheart, I get paid to assume. I get paid to make assumptions every day. Okay? What next? Then he tied us up. And then he started telling what actually happened. Yeah, niggas thought they got it. Nah, nigga, we got a double bag. We spent the greedy lot. underdogs, man. Chit chat, no. No, Chopper got kicked, man. Come on. Hold on. Chit chat. Yeah, man. You know, it's real gentleman like, real proper. You know? We're well, trying to hit the shuttle though. Fuck all that. Hold on, hold she on. She's gonna me gas if I ain't hit it. Thinking I didn't hear a single thing you said. What the fuck did you say? Hey, fuck all that, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up, nigga? You see, see how that nigga just laughed at us like that? Like, who the fuck is this nigga? I see that chain you had on me. Yo, what's the deal? Marvin. Shit right here. You know, same shit, different day. Always, always. Good. Man, that nigga dripped up, man. I'm trying to hit. I'm trying to definitely hit a lick. What, 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 uh, you know where Pony stand? I don't know that nigga, but I think he do. Stay in 103 up there and shit. 103? Yeah, yeah. We'll make an easy move on it. Oh, what's in the bag? You already know what's in the bag. You trying to get that shit done? Nigga, get that shit done right now. Fuck on that move. Come on. Hey. People say oh, they wired that shit to you, so be on the lookout for Yeah, no, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. I put it up on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up with them, uh, them truffles? Oh, you know, we got them. 
I'm about to go bag them and tag them right now, man. All right, well, look, I need some of that, uh, what was it, the uh, apple cherry pie? Mm -hmm. So I need I need a, a zip of that. I got you. And I need a pound of the gelato. Bet. And then you said the package was how much again? Yeah, like, probably like buck fifty. Right. got you. Don't trip, I'm gonna look out for you too, you good All right, peoples. Man. All right, bad man. Mm -hmm. You said it's smooth, right? Yeah, it's smooth. What we need to do is go get this fucking short. Make this move. Mm -hmm. sure. Bang in here though, right? Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. See that? Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. But how the family, nigga? You know, man, we smooth, man. We doing what we gotta do. Take care of what we gotta take care of. That's good. What about yours, man? Shit, they good, bro. I seen Shaniqua over at the spot, nigga. Man, her dusty ass. I ain't yeah, tripping on her. We good. Yeah, boy. Yeah. We don't got him. We don't got him. No. Yeah, yeah. We were, I can't believe you had me in this motherfucking bed this long, but. Fuck it. We got it, though. That's what we need to My bad. I'm just a little Okay, okay. Look, look, look. Whatever's in this motherfucker, we split that. Fuck yeah. Hell that yeah. Motherfucker. You know, I know he got some shit up in. You don't keep it safe like this for nothing. This shit heavy as fuck. Look, look, look. I did my part. Mm hmm. But. What kind of. My nigga, you got this shit? Damn, this shit know. hard as fuck. Please tell me that you know how to open this bitch. Nah, no, I did my part. I did my part. My part was to get us this fucking safe. Nigga, you the one that's supposed to open this shit. What you talking about, B? All right. I'm going to hit up Marquise. We're going to get this motherfucker open. I mean, there's got to be stacks in here. Got to be. You know what I'm saying? Got to be. Uh, You know what? Let me get the, the, doc, the doctor shit. That doctor shit. I'm going to listen to this motherfucker. Nigga, what the fuck? It is not a wind-up, bro. It is digital. Alright, man. I'm on 2K. Look, bro. You've been putting in so many fucking codes for the past five minutes. Now it's fucking locked. God damn. Look. I'm gonna hit that nigga Marquise, bro. This shit gonna open one way or another. Yeah. We gonna bust this bitch. Let me hit the nigga. Oh uh, no, nah, nah, fuck that. Why am I gonna call that nigga Marquise when he gonna want a three-way split? And then they got a big fucking mouth. You fucking right. We ain't splitting none of this yeah. nobody until we figure out what the fuck is in this safe. Your cousin Eugene, he still had them tools in his garage? Yeah, Eugene always on the cut. Alright. So we gonna need them tools, bro. Don't tell him nothing. Just tell him we need this warehouse. That's yeah, all. Yeah. Without being seen. You know what I'm saying? We can't fucking move out here with a fat ass safe, bro. We gotta leave the fucking truck here. Yeah. All Look, right. here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send you my location. All right. You need to know exactly this safe safe's here. You don't come here without me, B. We do this together, and we get the job done. Once this shit is open, and we, and we see what the fuck is in here, we split that shit 50-50. 50-50. 50-50, my nigga. Nobody else. All right. Let's, Let's cover that shit up. Unfortunately, Barry owned someone else too. His name was Jerome. Now we'll fight back real quick. Hold on. What's up, fool? What happened, nigga? Tell me the whole spill. Lay it all out, nigga. Man, we got something to handle, bro. What's up? Man, somebody went in my shit and took the safe. The safe, bro? Yeah. What all, all the money that you, all the money you wired me, nigga? Nigga, they took the chili, nigga. Come on, bro. This ain't no time to be funny. Bro, I'm, I'm dead ass, nigga. For real. They took the whole, the whole thing. I don't even know how them niggas got it out of there. What the fuck? Man, I seen two niggas when I left my apartment, nigga. It was some light-skinned nigga. Okay. Some little short leprechaun looking little motherfucker. Okay. But did you see their faces, though? Yeah, I could point them out. I think that nigga live in my building. That's evil. That nigga live on 2C. Well, yep. I know what we could do. Send a decoy, nigga. We gonna send a bitch. You feel me? To make sure nah, it's nigga, solidified. I need, I need to get that money by next week. You know Rick gonna be tripping. Look, nigga, I was thinking about making some calls real quick, but I'ma just holler at you later, nigga, until you figure it out, nigga. You feel me? Because you ain't talking nothing real quick, nigga. I got to go handle something. You feel me? Holler at me. Yeah. Today's practice. Fuck you, Hey, yo, hop up, baby. Oh, God. Oh, shit. 
Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, shit. 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 Oh
Tonight? Tonight. We can go in there, two man job, me and you. You ready, fool? He needs some more water, nigga. He's still whooped from last night. You know, I'm with all that, nigga. What's my right. name, nigga? Stress. Right. We're gonna handle that. Alright. Hey, all I need you to do, bro, is be the lookout, alright? That's it. Alright, yo. Put some on. water in you. I'll be back. Back. Alright, bro. Y'all niggas be ready. Shit, what the ticket on this shit? Price is on the back. I'm on the 40. This the one you want? Shit, just mix it up, bro. bro. I'll take whatever, you know what I mean? Shit, that's what do? That'll hurt you. Hey, look, give him something to do. Yeah, I'm gonna that in too if you wanna work with that. I'm too rich for my blood, bro. That's that's that Percy Jackson, man. Yeah, for four parts of two, yeah. You want to consign that fee or something? Come back with us with the bread. I don't put that too long. I don't fuck with that, bro. I just play with the air, my nigga. Hey, you hear that? I don't hear shit, man. I think it's tripping, bro. It's the music. Man, don't mm -hmm. start that shit, boy. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll act like we want to get the bread, huh? Say no more, push it. Uh, we'll be counting to be in touch if it's short, Chief. All right, what's up? I'm good, bro. Stop being around here, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> I was peeking, nigga. You serious, nigga? Hey, nigga, don't worry about that. We about to be out of this exciting for that yeah. nigga. What? Fuck that nigga. Let's go. Man, come on. What's my name? Nigga, get serious, man. What's my name? Stress. Cause I'm stress. Come on, nigga. Open up. You robbed the wrong fucking dude. You know we're about that fucking money? You serious right now? She texting me right now. Uh, I don't even know where the fucking start. I blacked out. I blacked out. All I know is I know Nina ass got me involved with some other bullshit. She greedy. She greedy. Both y'all bitches greedy. She greedy, Randy. Look. I don't know what the fuck you going like you got me into and why you coming at my door like this. I don't understand. But like you need what? a car for what the fuck's the problem? Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. What's up? Brandon, Brandon. Please. I blacked out. I don't know what happened. Call her. Call her, see what's up. It's going to voicemail. All right. Well, you need to get All the right, fuck what? Out. You need to get it's the It's all right, what? Don't do that. What's up, though. You need to figure out what's up because you coming in here talking crazy. I don't know who you bringing around here. I don't need cops coming busting through my fucking door. You know what I got going on? Brandon, right I'm not gonna do that to you. Come on. I'm just telling you I'm scared. Okay. Fuck, I'm scared. Look, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta be scared. You know what's up. I got you. But you need to figure out what the fuck is going on. Rob the wrong nigga. 
got caught up with my fucking gun. Tell her the story. Tell her the story. Yeah. Her and her friend shot one of the motherfuckers they do, that they ended up sleeping with and robbing. Break it. Kill that nigga. Break it. But who ends up taking the charge for it? You didn't even tell me to use my gun. I didn't even fucking know. Look, that was never my intentions. <laughs> I was scared. Damn, you were my big brother, my hero. This shit is fucking played the fuck out. I was your hero, but you didn't come see me. You didn't give a fuck about me. Brandy. There is no true significance of Caprice to their true story. However, Brandon was angry. Chevelle so portrayed nice. certain images of their life to the world, but he wasn't a saint himself. Look, I gotta do a little bit. I'm about to do a little time. Nigga, for what? Shoving my motherfucking friends and robbing niggas. Gonna hit the wrong nigga, bro. She had my gun on her. So now you gonna take the fall for it? She says, my sister, my nigga. What am I supposed to do? How you gonna make it in there, bro? I got connections. I know Swayze. You know what I'm saying? You gonna put me in, play me up. Look, I'm gonna make sure you solid. Make sure I'm solid, dude. Right. Be safe. I'll holler at you. Fucking with her. I'm already gonna just put the pieces together. You robbed the wrong fucking dude. Nigga, get that shit done right now. Fuck on that move. Come on. Hey. I'm on the block right now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look my one-two, fool. Damn. But you heard what's up with that nigga B? Yeah, nigga, this nigga talking about this nigga looking for him and shit. Nigga, we moved a little bit sloppy, but nigga, that's what I'm calling you, nigga. I know you go. Nigga, we gotta clean up, nigga. It's our time, nigga. You know, we the clean up crew, bro. Oh, shit. I'ma hit you. What the fuck? What's up with you, nigga? Come on now, nigga, where you running from? No ox piece, man. That nigga ox sent three niggas after me, bro. Damn. Nigga, I was over there on the boulevard. Nigga, you ran that fast? The nigga, I ran three blocks. God damn, nigga, you ran that fast, man. Nigga, that shit ain't funny. My bad, my bad. But look, nigga, I just got off the phone with Blue. Me and him, nigga, we go clean up and do it the right way, nigga. Sloppy Joe. You ain't do it the right way, nigga. We gonna do it. Wait, let me catch my breath. Come on, spit it out, nigga. Fuck that what, nigga? We need to get them niggas back before we go. Yeah. Ain't no way them niggas gonna have me running in my city. You? I'm just gonna get some rest, nigga. You a runner, you a track star, nigga. Hey, give me a minute, let me catch my breath. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Hey. What? We gotta get them niggas, man. Nigga, don't worry. Oh, yeah, you. We ready. We gotta get them niggas, man. Okay. Bruh, I'm leaving your apartment. Where you at? Call me back. Get up, man. Hey. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, man. Come on. Brandon. Brandon. Shut the fuck up. Brandon. I thought about you for 11 years. Brandon. Please, please just let us go. Please. Please, Lord. Please. I'm gonna take your ass please. up. I'm not gonna let you go. Please, that's your sister. 
There's gotta be another way we can work this out. This is your sister. My Randy. sister? She my fucking sister? She stopped being my sister the moment that you left me for high and fucking dry. Brandon. Brandon, look at me. Brandon, look at me. Brandon, it's me. Nah, I don't know you. Brandon. I don't know you, you greedy ass bitch. <gasps> I'm a bitch now, Brandon? Yeah. You're my big brother, Brandon. You're manipulative, narcissistic. You spin this whole little web around. You made all this fucking money. And what have you done? What have you done? I've turned my life into a better version of myself, Brandon. Please. I got out the fucking hood. You didn't take nobody with you. Brandon. I would have loved to take you with me, Brandon. I made a mistake. I made a fucking mistake, Brandon. Yeah, I'm about to make a fucking mistake too. Wait, wait. Gabby, right? Yeah. 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 Y
What's up, Carter? Yeah, I'm talking to you, man. Nigga, how the fuck you know my name? And who the fuck is you? Detective Kane, man. Just wanna ask you a couple questions. Okay, Detective, I really don't give a fuck. I didn't ask you if you gave a fuck. You coming to me? Listen to me when I'm talking to you, all right? You got a card to be smoking that shit, man? I got a lot of cards. Which one do you want to see? I'm pretty busy right now. Look, like, man. Don't play no games with me. What the fuck you want? What you know about a safe? I don't know what the fuck you talking about. You're gonna tell me everything that I need to know right now. I really don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Now first, I'm gonna confiscate this weed right here. Since you clearly don't have a fucking card. And then I need you to uh, get down from this wall. Get up against the wall. I need to search you. Nigga, for what? I didn't do nothing. I said get the fuck down. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm not fucking playing with you, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck this nigga, bro? Don't get too handsy and shit, bro. <laughs> fuck you, nigga. Oh, oh. <coughs> I'm not gonna ask you again. <coughs> Tell me what the fuck I need to know. Alright, alright. Man, this is my dollar, man. Nah, nigga, what the fuck? Fuck, nigga, ain't know what was coming. Right. Nigga, we should have got that nigga, though. Yeah. Came a little sloppy, but you feel me? Could do a little better. Man, I ain't, bro. At least we got some packs, though, nigga. You let that nigga get away, man. Nah, nigga. We're gonna call Quita. We're gonna get these packs off. And we getting the fuck out of town. I just make sure his man's was, you know, they slumped over, nigga, too. So. I don't know, man. I'm starting to get your head nodding again. Nah, nigga. It is, nigga. We there. But you know what I'm The thing I'm thinking about is this. He ain't gonna come back till another couple days, nigga. All right, bet, yo. How about Miami? We out of here? Or Chicago? Which one? I think we should go to New York. Fuck it, we out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make it happen, Captain. Yo, where the fuck is Stretch? Stretch? Yeah. I've been waiting for him, man. Our flight is in two hours. Come on, man. Y'all be smoking every morning. I didn't see him this morning. I don't know where he's at. What's up? Look, man, we hit Ox. Oh, fuck. Shit, y'all good? You on the run now? Yeah, man. Damn, bro. I see you gonna shave your face and everything. Yeah, bro, I had to. Got you looking like a 16 year old teenager. Goddamn, it's about to be real bad. Yo, you sure you don't know anything? Yeah, I wake up every morning smoking blunts, man. On that same corner. Shit, you don't think he already dipped already? He wouldn't do that, bro. Last time I seen him, I ran down on Ox. Them niggas looking for me, man. Shit, oh, y'all running, bro. Um, yeah, bro, I really, I really don't know where that man is at, bro. All right, bro. Yo. What's up? Did you see Stretch? I thought he was with you. Nah, I thought he was with you. Nah, last time I heard y'all doing something, right? Man, you know we hit Ox. See, y'all shouldn't have did that. Man, fuck all that, bro. We need to get Ox. He was gonna get us first. We was dead man walking. Man, y'all should have waited at least. Ain't nobody was gonna wait for you, bro. <laughs> Ain't nobody was gonna wait for you, bro. We need to get ours. I'm just saying, who y'all had watching out? Man, you know we had white boy watching out. Nah. He was cool, man. Nah. Man, he was good. Mm -mm, too easy to grab. I know, I know, man. I know he be getting fucked up, man. Come on, man. So what you saying, bro? We gotta go find Stretch. You gotta find a stretch. But we got a flight in two hours. 
hey, this man is either missing or something. I can't do nothing about that, but you got it. Come on, Blue. Got you, though. Where the fuck this nigga at, man? Well, the papers that I have in my possession say otherwise. They say that you were with Mr. Winters around the time that he got incarcerated. I don't even know who Mr. Winters don't is. Don't bullshit me. I'm not. I'm being as transparent as possible. You're lying. I can see it all over your face. It's not. I'm telling you the It's truth. complete bullshit and my papers say that it is bullshit and I'm calling you. Don't waste my fucking time, okay? <laughs> this is not a game. I'm not here to play games with you. Tell me what I need to know. And you're lucky I don't take your ass to jail. <laughs> That's what you think. But I'm telling you the truth. You could give me a lie detector test if you want. Don't test me. I just do might. It. I don't have nothing to hide. We're gonna find out. Okay. We'll get to the bottom of your bullshit. Like I told you, that was everything. I don't know what else you want from me, because that's the story. I gave you everything from detail to detail. No, <laughs> I you need me. I don't need you. Is there anything else you have to ask me? Because I do have plans later. I have what I need right in front of me. And you're <laughs> not getting out of here until I get what I need. It's that fucking simple. So once you get that through your head and stop trying to play this little pretty girl act, <laughs> you'll be fine. There's nothing else that I can give you. Am I doing the interrogating or are you? Well, I just think you're not that great at your job. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll throw your ass in a cell so fast before you can say the word fucking pap smear. I'm not playing no games with you. Sweetheart. You have Sweetheart? no idea. <laughs> I don't think that's your protocol to call me that. Miss Simone is fine. Play games with me. <laughs> I don't know where We can be pressure. here all night. I've got all fucking night. And I'm pretty sure that's less time than you have. Try me if you want to. Try me, if you want to. So how important is this interview to you, Lauren? Uh, it's, it's, it's highly requested, but, but uh, she never does interviews. I don't, I don't, know, I, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but... Yeah. Me too. But you know what? Please don't hurt us. Please, please. Now shut the fuck up. Please. I can't promise that, Lauren. Nah, you caught up in the mix, baby. She has nothing to do with this. You see? Her story. See the title? This fucking purse. Oh. My fucking money. You got this fucking purse. What? What money? My fucking $200,000 that was in the fucking stove. Look, when that happened, people started talking. And word got back to all boys and them. Next thing you know, they was looking for me. So I took the money you took and I started a new money? life! You fucking- I took Chevelle, you took the fucking money? What else was I supposed to do? Look, I was young and dumb. I'm sorry. You didn't come see me? You didn't put no fucking money on my books? You got- Brandon! You forgot about me. Brandon! Chevelle, so what is he talking about? Does this matter to you? Does this matter to you? You no, because you fucking money fucking matters matters to me. Only you, only you matter to you. I gotta do what I gotta do. Just do it. And that's all I know. Are you sure? Yeah, that's everything. Miss Simone, you expect me to believe that he just let you go free? Why wouldn't you believe me? I don't even have a criminal record. How do I know that you weren't involved to set this whole thing up? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I am. Very. I'm innocent. Really? Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't be telling you everything. Don't you think? Well, it's the Miss Simone, you're going to be here a long time. 
you're not going to get arraigned until Monday. You're not going to see a judge until Monday. It's Friday. Well, I'm not saying anything else unless I have my lawyer present. So you want to play these games? I got a fresh jail cell for you. Hmm. So enjoy some prison food. Because you're going to be here for a while. Good luck. That's what you think. If I didn't learn anything else about Chevelle and Brandon, is to try not to allow the ones you love to blind you from what real love looks like. How Brandon explained things were pretty much cause and effect when Carter and Brandon took the safe and effected there. It wasn't long before a detective found Carter. Major plans for you. Real. Right, keep your phone ready. Damn. Let's go. Make me lose my Don't you make me lose my phone. What's up, Carter? Oh, shit! Shit! Oh, oh, shit, man. I ain't got time for this shit. Fuck! Got my badge today, man. I want that safe. What's up, Carter? Detective Kane, why the fuck you still following me, man? What the fuck do you want with me, bro? Where's Brandon, man? Who? You know what the fuck I'm talking about. I got no more bullets, bro. You got me. Where's the safe? What? Say I don't know what, what the again. fuck you talking about, bro? Can I put my hands down? No. Keep your fucking hands up. You line it up. <coughs> this nigga. <laughs> so, why did you decide to do the book after the movie? Well, the movies came out so long ago, I felt like my message wasn't put out there correctly. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was aimed toward violence. Mm. Yeah. So, what was the message? <sighs> Again, it was. <laughs> Are you? Uh, I don't. <laughs> what the fuck? Because I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to say after that. So, while we're walking, uh, what made you decide to turn it into a book after the movie came out? 
Well, I feel like the movies came out so long ago. Mm. I feel like my message wasn't put out there correctly. I felt like the movie was directed toward violence. And what message were you trying to get out? Just a better, positive version of myself. I wanted to reflect something different than that. Mm. And what was the inspiration? Because you never really got into Cassie or Keisha or the other <laughs> characters. Yeah. And was it a positive message that you were trying to get across more? Yeah, um, I believe we discussed a little bit about my grandmother being my positive influence, but I also felt like myself, because I changed for the better, I felt like I became my own inspirational message. Cool. <laughs> Oh, that was so great. Oh my God, can we go now? Uh, yeah, sure. Just tell us when to go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not like that, because I was like, help us. Please. <laughs> Action. Go. Okay, cool, cool. That was perfect, girl. Can we go now? Uh, yeah.